Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. It looks like Lego hasn't forgotten about box bloat. So we're going to look at this. I feel like this box is way oversized for what's in here, but it was a good deal. I think. I could be wrong. It was $20. I mean, normally if you got a box this size for $20, you'd be like, ooh, it is 322 pieces. It's three sets in here. This is a Walmart three-in-one thing. I already feel like the boxes are sliding around in there. So we're going to find that out. And I'm also going to, if it's air in here, and, and we're going to talk about a, my lack of a strategy for finding things to part out. I mean, I have a strategy, but maybe it's not the best strategy, but it's free. Anyway, we're going to open this. So this is set 66773 exclusively at Walmart. Uh, they had a limit of three online. There's three sets, 332 pieces. So let's open it up. And right away, already, it's like there's an inch. No, I take it back, there's two inches. Like, they could have made the box two inches smaller. So they, they clearly are doing box blood. And then there's this filler cardboard in here. So we got this set. What is this? Oh my goodness. It's a, the, ice cream truck and it is basically a four juniors set uh, we got this one now, this one's actually pretty cool the pizzeria where they call it they call it uh, Heart Lake City pizzeria I think that's the best set in here and then there's this little tiny set uh, 41719 oh my goodness mobile fashion boutique <laughs> so here Let's just do this. <laughs> so if I if I just put these in in a different way, it takes up even less space. So like already, it's like four inches difference just packing them a simple different way. I I don't know. I mean. I don't know if I should be mad. I mean, it is what it, you know, you know what you're getting. There's not like, they're not hiding what you're getting, but clearly the the pictures, wait a minute, are those the same size? Yeah, it's just, it, the box is way bigger than it needs to be. But uh, yeah, I got these three sets for $20. The part out value is about 70 something dollars. So this gets back to my, my terrible strategy for uh, buying sets. I look for things that are, I try to look for three times and up the part out value. So for instance, if this set, I don't, I don't know what the original retail price was. Let's say it was $10. I know it's not, <laughs> can't be. Well, oh my goodness, if it was $10, that'd be a, that's a rip off. Anyway, let's say it's $10. I wanted to part it out for 30 so that the the parts that I add to my store would be $30 so that's generally what I'm looking at. if it's 40 that's even better uh, but you say okay if, if this set is on, on a good deal and it's available to everybody if everybody is buying these sets that means a lot of people will be adding the same parts to BrickLink is that bad for me I don't know I don't I don't really worry about it and I don't think anybody else should worry about it, but maybe you do if you're a BrickLink seller. I look at it as like the more people that have parts and they have other things in the store that I might want, the more likely I am to buy. So I think having variety is very important. And if the variety includes things that a lot of people already have, then so be it. I mean, one of the most common selling pieces in my store is like a one by two black plate. Well, it, that's a very common piece, but obviously there are a lot of people that still need to get that piece, even though it's in a lot of sets and a lot of stores have it in a high quantity. I mean, I almost never sell out of it. I mean, one time I did and it was like, wow, that drawer finally empty. <laughs> but I, I, I just don't think it's a bad thing to have the same parts that other people do. I just think it's good to get parts on a good deal. Now, yes, for instance, let's say these sets have been in stores for a while and then this deal came out. That might lower the overall value of the pieces that are in this set. 
it's okay. Uh, you know what? They'll go up in value again later. So let me know if you're a seller. What do you worry about? Things like that. I'm sure. Uh, if you do it for a living, and I'm sure that you got to think about certain things like this. But at the end of the day, if you sell it for more than what you bought it, then it's okay. Oh, you know what? That was part of a haul, so I got to do more stuff here. Now we got this stuff to do. So I actually don't know if all of this stuff is Lego or not. It may not be in some of these. This is going to be a mystery. I mean, I, I, I mean, I know I've ordered a lot of different things, but they don't tell me which one's in which shipment, so I don't know what it is. But uh, So I'll open this up. If it's not Lego, we'll move on to the next package. Um, so... Yeah, do I, do I have a bad strategy? So one thing I know is that I don't want to pay a service to help me figure those things out. I, I think as a seller, I think it's better to acquire knowledge and do your own research and figure things out and buy things that you want and you, you're okay with if you get stuck with them, if you have to close your store. Um, so... Number one rule. What's the number one rule, people? Number one rule. Only buy what you like. Like what you collect. Collect what you like. And if you buy stuff to sell, only buy stuff that you like. Um, at, a, at, a, at a much lower price than what you sell. And you'll always come out better. But I just can't see paying a service. Paying somebody a service. Uh, to do that. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, yeah, it's Lego. Wow. That's all that's in here is one set. So this is one of those impulse buys. So let's see. Get this, this thing to breathe air here. So they had a, a sale at this site that I bought this from. And I had to get up to a certain dollar amount to get the certain percentage off. And this is one of the things I added to my... Oh my goodness, it's still got the vintage Walmart sticker on it. I wasn't even sure if I already have this set. <laughs> it's 5840 Belleville set. It doesn't have the name on it. It's almost like then... That's unusual for it not to have the name on the set. Because that is a Walmart sticker right there. I'd imagine this was sold in the U Yeah, it's been opened. It's used. May not may not even be complete. They put the insert upside down in here. Let's open it up and see what we got. Oh goodness. Did they tape it in there? There we go. Alright. It's like some kind of stables. It's got hair all in it. Ugh. Oh, it's nasty. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to throw up. It's pretty, I don't know if that shows up on camera. It's pretty nasty, but we got the chrome bucket. Um, looks close enough to complete. Instructions are in pretty good shape, but this one needs a bath. All right, so I added a Belleville set. Let's see what, all right, again, some of these may not be Lego sets or pieces, so if it's not, We'll move on to the next package. Only got three packages here, so don't worry. It is this Lego? By George, I think it is. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Now this one, I'm going to have fun with. Oh, I've been wanting to get... Oh, goodness, I just hit the lights. I've been wanting to get this one for a while. But can never find it at the right price. Um... Now I did. Can you tell what it is? Why am I having such a hard time picking on this? Oh yeah. More vintage Lego. Oh yeah. Can you see that? I don't know. Oh, they wrapped it in plastic. That's, that would protect it if UPS decided to leave it out in the rain like Alex Noonan, Noon's package got left out in the rain. Actually it was got in the rain, repackaged and then sent to him soaking wet. Alright, it's pretty cool that they wrapped it up. Look at that! I had this set, I have no idea 
is it's going to be complete but the main thing was it had the box and i think it had the instructions as well beautiful and it's definitely one i didn't have and i would like to get all of the model team sets i got some of the high dollar ones except for this one but now i do have this one so let's get down to this level here oh it's a truck so i have two model team trucks oh you want to see them they're up there Get far away and zoom in. That's the Brixar strategy. I got a YouTube thing right there. Pylon cassette tape. Do kids know what a cassette tape is? But we got the uh, two two of those model team trucks. There's another one that's a uh, uh, helicopter on a. There's a black one. So I have that one too. I think that one had a helicopter on. And then there's a black and yellow one. This one has an airplane. So let's look at how this looks. What is the deal that I'm putting stuff in upside down? <laughs> it's upside down. I hope there's pieces in this thing. <laughs> they put it in upside down. Oh, oh boy. Oh. I don't even know if some of these are the right pieces. So there's the instructions. And these is the pieces I got. It's not boating well for completeness. There was something else I saw, I thought I saw in the picture. Is it not in here? Ah, this is what I saw in the picture. So it's a partial uh, sticker sheet, but look, it's got it's missing these stickers, those uh, there, but it's got you know some of the long stickers, and I think these would have been a sticker over assembly. So having some of the stickers is good, and maybe remnants are on these other pieces. I highly doubt it, because one of them... Oh, so why did they put this in upside down? Let's see if I can turn this around. This tray is supposed to go like that. So one of the... Oh, yeah, it's the stickers on these pieces. So the airplane... I feel like the airplane's, like, completely missing. Um... So this is going to be a piece together thing. Oh, it's got a sticker on the. There was a rip. This stick. That piece there. Does that go to the set? I'm not. Oh yeah, it does. It's on the airplane right there. It's right there. So, yeah, I, I'm strongly suspecting it's going to be missing a lot of pieces, but it's a good starting point for me having a partial sticker sheet. Some stickers applied. Maybe I'm hoping that sticker will be in there. There's one, I think, that's still on the sticker sheet, but one's missing. Um, yeah, and those stickers, I hope I can find those. Oh, the jets. Are the jets in here? Jets! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, oh, okay, it's just this piece. All right, and then... Oh, yeah, look! Oh, check it out, Mach 2. All right, so we're... Huh? We will see. We will see. Um, definitely we'll do a video about this set, but it was a really good deal. I don't like that they put a sticker. Warning choking hazard. You know, I wonder if that... It doesn't look like one of the Lego choking hazard ones. I don't... I wonder who put that on there. Was it Lego? Was it the store this was originally sold at? Or was it the store I bought it from? Who knows? But very pleased. Very pleased to get that. And we got one more package. Is it Lego again? I don't know, but man, that's a pretty Brigzar style haul so far. We got um, three friend sets that we're going to part out. And then we got two sets we're keeping Belleville and Model Team things I collect. Um, whatever this is, it's something I, I like. So even if it's something I'm going to sell, if it's not Lego, it's going to be something I like. But let's find out. I like that they're using more nondescript packaging so you don't know who it is I bought it from. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a black garbage bag. Hopefully it's not garbage. Uh, it's sounding like it's not Lego. Just checking the box. Well, if it's not Lego, what do you think it is? It's... Thomas. All right, so we'll save that for another channel. Nice.
So that I definitely like. This I definitely like. Now again, I may be breaking that, that rule I said of buying only the things that you like uh, when you're parting things out for your store, like these friend sets, because I'm not, friends, wow, oh my goodness. I will say that friends, I started off collecting a lot of them. I didn't collect, I was definitely not a friends completionist, but I got a lot of the early sets. But the sheer volume of friend sets, it uh, there's no way I could keep up. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, even if they wanted to get all the friend sets, they couldn't keep up. But I think overall they're not bad, which is why the theme continues to do pretty well, I think. It, they wouldn't keep making a bunch of sets if it wasn't doing well, right? So if the theme's doing well, and the colors are getting better. I mean, why why not buy them? I mean, I collect pizzerias, but I'll probably never build this one. And I, I do one thing I do not like is the orange skateboards with the green wheels. Give me a different color, okay? It's like every friend set has an orange skateboard with green wheels. Can you just make me a blue one occasionally? Maybe they do, but it seems like every set I get has the orange one. <laughs> um, a turquoise. Nice. Boy, why did I buy this? I mean, I remember when I was, the, the, the little uh, mopeds were pretty popular. The Vespas. This has got to be the worst one in the bunch. Yeah. I love ice cream. Lego has made a lot of ice cream related sets over the years. But... All right, for 20 bucks, it wasn't that bad, but this, I oh, can't wait. Yeah, so I'm gonna work on this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Or maybe I'll do this one. I like this one. Is that a toilet? <laughs>